Here's the latest from the newsroom. A UK-wide relaxation of COVID rules will go ahead at Christmas, but Wales has tightened up regulations. Only two households will be able to mix over the festive break, and close contact services such as hair salons will have to shut before the holidays. At the end of the day, on Christmas Eve, non-essential shops will close, and all hospitality venues will have to shut at 6pm on Christmas Day. Wales will go into a stay-at-home lockdown three days later. Why the change? Here's Welsh First Minister Mark Drakeford. Cases have continued to rise. One in five people are now testing positive for the virus. The number of people in hospital with coronavirus has risen to record levels. The situation we are facing is extremely serious. In England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, three households can form a bubble and stay over at each other's homes between December 23rd and December 27th. There are no new restrictions on shops and pubs. An inquest has found that air pollution did contribute to the death of a nine-year-old girl in London. Ella Kissa Deborah passed away after an asthma attack in 2013. Listing air pollution as the official cause of death is a UK first and has been called a landmark decision by Professor Gavin Shaddock, a government advisor. The Supreme Court has ruled that the owner of Heathrow Airport can build a third runway, overturning an earlier legal decision to block the plan on environmental grounds. Heathrow Airport has welcomed the decision, but the plan still faces major obstacles. It still has to persuade a public inquiry of the case for expansion. Paul McGuinness is from the No Third Runway Coalition. Well, it's very disappointing and very disappointing for our membership across London and the South East. However, it may well transpire that it will be irrelevant when it comes to Heathrow expansion because so much has changed over the last five years since it got the go-ahead. The assessments uh, on carbon, on air quality, um, on noise and boy on the economics um, have changed considerably. And Tesco has been given a £300,000 fine after a man was crushed underneath a roll cage trolley. Piotr Grizella was severely injured when unloading a lorry outside a Tesco metro in Oxford. The supermarket chain admitted two charges relating to health and safety breaches. I'm John Joe Devlin and that's the latest from the BBC Newsroom. 